hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video we're gonna create a morph target from zbrush and bring it back in uh, unreal engine with mesh morpher so first of all we will open mesh morpher and uh, we will work with the meta human and uh, the next step is to export this meta human as an obj file as a water tight uh, obj file and we will name it uh, mh original because uh, we have to identify which is the original and which is the modified obj file so uh, this is the original one and now we export it again as uh, as duplicate uh, we will uh, easily identify the duplicate and original files now right so uh, now we can go to ZBrush and uh, import our duplicate file. This is the file we're going to work in, uh, in uh, ZBrush. And let's see what we can do here. We want to create uh, a morph target so that uh, it's uh, easily visible in, uh, in Mesh Morpher for this uh, tutorial. Let's activate symmetry and uh, let's get started. First of all, we will export it and uh, overwrite the duplicate obj file, right? And now we can go back to Mesh Morpher. In Mesh Morpher, we have to open uh, our uh, window here and select create from obj file. We have to select as a base of bj file we have to select the original one which hasn't been modified and as a morphed of bj file we have to select the duplicate of bj file which is, was modified in zbrush when uh, we import them we can see they are rotated uh, wrong they're not like our base uh, skeletal mesh this is the skeletal mesh we will apply the morph target to so in order for this no morph target to be successfully created both obj files need to have same orientation as the uh, skeletal mesh so we need to fix this if uh, we go to our panel here we can see that we have lock transform under morphed category if we disable this and modify in base obj file uh, uh, rotation or scale it will be applied only to the base obj file but uh, if we enable log transform the same change here will be a uh, will be applied to uh, the morphed obj file so uh, because we have same obj files uh, uh, with the same uh, orientation we will use uh, log transform enabled right so now that we we have uh, the obj files facing this direction we need to turn them around and we can go here and now we have them facing the correct direction to convert the obj files to the unreal coordinate system we need to set uh, x uh, scale to minus one and now we have everything in place here we can select a morph name let's set fighter as a morph name a threshold uh, threshold very very low because we exported the obj files uh, from uh, mesh morpher we have the same vertex count so we can use a very very uh, low threshold and no smoothing iterations for the same reason right so let's uh, let's hit OK and see what's going on.
the morph target was uh, successfully created. Let's uh, see how it looks in uh, Mesh Morpher. It looks the same as in ZBrush, that's good. And uh, before uh, uh, anything else, just make the final verifications in uh, Skeletal Mesh Previewer. Enable your Morph Target. And go to Preview Scene Settings, select Use Specific Animation and use the uh, Arcade Mapping Animation. So you can see how the eyes uh, behave how the mouth behaves if you you have problems you'll know what to do right so we have no problems here i think we're good the eyes are okay the mouth is okay and uh, yeah this is it for this video we successfully created the the morph target as you can see uh, mesh morpher changed a little bit the create from obj file it's uh, uh, it's uh, been uh, recreated from scratch it's uh, very cool now we have a new viewport we have a lot of uh, changes here so we can uh, improve our workflows even more right so yeah this is it guys for uh, this video uh, if you liked uh, the video don't forget to hit the, the like button uh, this way I'll know that uh, I can uh, create more videos like this, right? So, yeah. See ya. Bye.